Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. I saw everybody's comments about my magnificent 2021 vision board. So many people said, for instance, that we should not manifest a cat sequel. How do you think we got into this mess? Not via poor political leadership or failing to recognize that viruses are uninterested in political borders. We got into this mess because we started 2020 with a cats movie, and the only way we're getting out of it is with another cats movie. I also stand by all the other goals in this vision board, like I do need to finish my book of extremely in-depth Yelp reviews that comes out later this year, and I do want to get the vaccine into my arm, and I do intend to keep AFC Wimbledon in the third tier of English football by sheer force of will, and I do want to spend less time staring into the abyss. Sorry, what were we talking about? Right, my vision board. I also saw how over at Reddit user Atlas Gray whiteboarded my whiteboard, so now anyone can do anything they want with it. A power that Ritz37 used to put me in a Turtles All the Way Down situation, and SMH Matrix used to make my 2021 vision board my past mustachioed self. And all of that's great, Hank. I want people to have fun with my vision board, but what they don't know is that 2021 is the year of the vision board, specifically the year where I update my vision board every single week, except for some weeks when I might be out of town or filming on location or something. What I'm getting at, Hank, is that there are going to be a lot more vision boards around here, not least because using dry erase board in more videos was part of last week's vision board. So what's on the board this week? First, review lemmings. This one is fairly self-explanatory, provided that you know I'm a semi-professional reviewer of the Anthropocene and also a person who is interested in lemmings. Then we've got micro capsules. So the reason scratch and sniff stickers work is the same reason time-released medication works is the same reason trip triplicate forms work. They all use a technology called micro-encapsulation, which I need to better understand for the Anthropocene Reviewed book. What else is going on this week? We also have Manifest Birds with Arms. This one is also fairly self-explanatory. It's all that birds are missing. Another bird-related one, Convince Geese to Migrate. So every year, more Canada geese become permanent non-migratory residents of Indiana, even though that pond is of no use to you. All you have is the memory of that being water. Now it's just a rock, and it will be a rock for months, so fly south and give me a few hours without your incessant honking. Okay, what else? We have sign name 10,000 times. So to make sure that every copy of the first printing of the U.S. edition of the Anthropocene Reviewed book is signed, I have to sign about 10,000 times per week. This is around, like, 600. So yeah, it's fairly straightforward. I just have to sign each one of these sheets. Then we've got read books, not tweets. When I read Annie Dillard on eclipses or Terry Tempest Williams on erosion or even extremely upsetting books like Paul Farmer's Fever, Feuds, and Diamonds about the history of Sierra Leone and our response to Ebola, I don't feel calm exactly, but it does make me feel informed and engaged without experiencing the sour sweet dopamine rush seasoned with panic that I get from Twitter. There is a lot more, of course, because this year demands nothing if not visioning. Hank, I'll see you on Friday.